I'm back! Now, I didn't want to record, uh, didn't not have enough space on my phone, um, but I'm back. What's up, guys? It's Wolverguy here, and this is live. I just did not have enough space on my phone to make over a five-minute video, because I have so many apps on my phone, they just take all my space, so everything's just non-existent. Um, so I'm going to talk about a few things here, guys. I'm going to talk about Logan Paul, Filthy Frank, and my Vegas vacation. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, with the uh, Logan Paul thing, he went to Japan, did multiple vlogs, said he was going to be respectful. Total opposite. Nope. Not at all. So, he went to this place called the Suicide Forest, and he went there, vlogged, obviously, and went to, um, on the trail... Then he decided, hey, let's go off the trail. Great idea, right? Mm -mm. Not a good idea. Went off trail. I think probably five, ten minutes later, real time. He saw there was a fucking dead body. And hanging from a tree that someone just ran, just did. Just, he killed himself. That Obviously, this is a place, guys, henceforth the name Suicide Force. You go there to kill yourself. I don't know why the fuck this exists, but Japan is a uni unique, weird place. So, with that being said, he went there and he filmed the body after he's seen it. What? Why? Just, just why? So, he has been trending about everywhere on whatever social media outlet you can think of youtube uh <laughs> twitter facebook whatever it's in the news everywhere um so that is what, go what is going on with logan paul he is just a dumbass i don't i don't i'm, I'm not gonna um show the video if you guys are interested uh i i guess I guess I'll put it in the comments down below, but there's one final thing on a serious note I want to talk about. Um, if you are watching this or you're a subscriber to me, I highly appreciate uh, you standing by with me. I appreciate everyone that has been standing by with me um, when I've been gone and, and active. Yes, I did take a Vegas vacation. I did not say where due to personal reasons and we'll talk about that here in a minute um if you have you know you're going through suicidal thoughts something like that depression and you're thinking of killing yourself don't do it you your presence is just so appreciated by not just myself all your friends all your family you have people that care about you please please if you know you need help go seek help you do suicide is not the answer to anything it's not it shouldn't even be on the board you could do so many other things to you know d just don't do what you think you're is good it's not going to help anyone it hurts everyone i will be putting a when i'm done with this video and it uploads or whatever i've never done a live stream so i don't know about it i will be putting a link to a suicide hotline number down below for you guys for those people that need help this is this is not something to be joked about when i seen this it was you know really cringy and it almost pissed me off to the point like why all these kids that watch the paul brothers are just hypnotized by their dumb asses and i don't know what what how the parents let them watch this shit it's just it's ridiculous <clears throat> So, with that, that being said, we are going to move on to talking about Filthy Frank. Now, Filthy Frank, uh, popular YouTuber, pink guy thing, the pink season, the music, <clears throat> all that, excuse me. Um, he has officially said, he came out to Twitter and said, he is done with YouTube. He's got some health reasons, and you just to do you have to be advertiser friendly so if he goes back to the filthy frank videos he's not going to make any money off of them so he is not going to do any more of those videos sad to say he's not going to do anything on youtube anymore um 
and he says he's got like some throat tissue damage and something else. Obviously doing that raspy voice all the time probably does not help your throat at all. So, um, it's sad to say that there will be no more Filthy Frank. I've seen this um, kind of popping up in the news the last few days. And it's just sad to say that a no more but hey it is what it is that's his decision and i'm pretty sure the people with common sense do respect that decision on him hopefully he gets well soon and drops for uh some more music his music is very creative and it's lit <laughs> and uh, I, I just love the guy um so with that being said that is it for filthy frank and the logan paul news um i didn't i just want to tell you guys if you guys don't really see too much of the YouTube stuff that's going on, like the drama, the headlines, all that stuff. Um, I just want to tell you guys. Now, Vegas vacation. Um, where do I start? So, um, my last vlog, guys, I showed you um, what's going on with this channel. Channel update, and I said I was going to be gone for a while. Excuse me. Um, the reason being is I went to Vegas for Christmas and New Year's. It was a different change of pace because I have lived in Michigan my whole life pretty much well, I was born in Toledo Ohio so it, it's about the same area if you know what I'm talking about it's like literally you go from where I live like 10 minutes down the road you're in fucking Toledo anyways <clears throat> so we went uh it was me and my parents we uh went to Vegas um I will I don't think I can add I added all the stuff on Snapchat um I will probably make that a, another video. I'll just take all what I can together and um, put it in a video later on, maybe today, um, later on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, so how it started was we took an eight-hour drive to St. Louis, stayed the first night in St. Louis, and then the next following day we drove to Kansas in Salina, I believe, uh, or uh, something like that. I can't remember the name of it. And if people know what I'm talking about in Kansas and I'm pronouncing it wrong, I am very sorry. Um, so we stayed there. Uh, and then the next day, we head out to Utah. Oh, man. Oh, man. This was great. Um, so as some of you guys know, my mom has a disability. She has MS. And if you guys don't know what MS is, it's multiple sclerosis. And she's got it in her back and legs. And she cannot walk, so she's in a wheelchair. Um, I'm not going to talk about this too heavy. Um, had to stop at a rest stop. She had an accident, and shit got worse. Um, my dad slipped and hurt his shoulder in the making of this. Uh, that part thing happened. It was, it was real bad. He was coughing. Um, I, he thought he punctured a lung. He, thank God he didn't. Um, I thought we were going to be spending the night in a hospital in Utah, but it did not happen. So, um, that happened. So we dealt with it. Um, so we stayed in a place called, it wasn't Salt Lake City. It was Richfield, Utah, basically middle of fucking nowhere. Um, and we showed up on a Monday. Now I knew this was a Mormon state. I knew this was a Mormon state and... <laughs> You can't buy alcohol there on a Sunday or a Monday because they have state liquor uh, store that you can't go to. And so we were fucked. So we went to Walmart, bought some beer, go Walmart. I know I'm not sponsored or anything, but Walmart saved the day. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so um, we spent that night in Richfield. We head headed out of Utah and went to Nevada. Now we couldn't buy any liquor or anything. The next day then the liquor store doesn't open until noon their time. So if you're East Coast time, that's two o'clock in the afternoon. Um I think. Yeah, it's only I think it's only two yards behind. But anyways, so that happened. And so we moved on and we went to Nevada, stayed in the MGM Grand Hotel, which was really nice. Uh they did not have a fridge that you could put your own shit in. They had a mini fridge that had stuff in there. And if you took it out, they charged you. So we couldn't do that. So we were living out a cooler. Um, 
no microwave, so you basically had to buy food all the time. This place was huge, guys. They had restaurants in here. I'm going to talk about this for a little bit, where I went to eat and all that stuff for the two weeks. Um, so they had a food court in the bottom of, I guess it's like the bottom floor where all the restaurants are and stuff, right? Great food. Could not go wrong there. Obviously, everything is overpriced in Vegas, so... Um, it, it, it was what it was, and then um, we stayed at a couple restaurants. Um, we went to this burger place called Micah, uh, Michael Minna's Pub or something. Best burgers I've ever had. Um, just great. Um, stayed at other restaurants um we went to this italian place called fiamma or whatever great great food there as well um just stayed at a bunch of other places and across the strip was a hooters casino hotel and then they had a hooters restaurant in there that was we went there like three times Uh, I'm going to move into another room, guys. Um, That's my mom real quick. Um, so, um, I'm just going to do this for the time being. Um, so, we went to multiple different places. Utah was, or Utah, Nevada was great, guys. Obviously, no shootings happened. Nothing happened like that in the sort, so I am blessed by that. We did not have any problems with the car or the van we were in. Um, I'll put, I'll post everything in another video. I think I'm going to just try and put all those little videos in there that YouTube sa or YouTube, uh, Snapchat save. So if you have pictures, it does like videos. It's like a five second video, uh, picture and it moves on the next thing and the next and the next. So we stayed at multiple different restaurants. Um, just great food overall. We went down on the strip to explore stuff. Um, it was just really, it was a great experience. Um, the weather was perfect. Now, if you're from where I live and the weather is colder than shit right now, um, 60 and 70 degrees weather was just, it was amazing. It was great weather. Um, even though, like, the sun's closer at that time, uh, or that point of time, um, it's, the sun's hotter than shit. So, you're about sweating your ass off, right? Okay. So, um... For Christmas, um, my mom had some childhood um, friends that came in and uh, that she knew. They used to live around here, moved out to California, and my mom hasn't really seen them that much ever since. Uh, so, hung out with them on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then it was just me chilling with the folks. For New Year, they popped off fireworks, but the thing was, they were right above us in the MGM. We could not see anything, so we just had to watch uh, the TV and do that. So, um, it was a great time in Vegas. I gambled a little, did not make any money. I think I went like, I lost about 50 bucks in total, so it, it could have been worse, right? So, uh, the shitty thing was, even if I wanted to post videos, it would not have happened because everywhere I stayed, even the MGM guys, shitty ass hotel Wi-Fi. Guys, I could barely stay in a chat party on PlayStation alone, then play something and not lag out online. It was just fucking terrible. I'm like, I can't wait to get home. I got home yesterday. Uh, I think I saved like most of the trip on my phone, so I will, like I said, I will post that for the third time I've said this. Um, so we were like, okay, which way are we going to take? So if you look at a map of the United States highways, there's only two ways to get to Nevada. You can either go north through Utah, uh, past Denver. Also, I, oh, I totally forgot about this too, guys. I forgot. I stayed in Denver um, I have family in Denver. It, I, I think it went Denver, then Utah. 
Yeah, it did. Um, and hung out with them, stayed there for two days, and then headed to Utah. And then on the way back, we stayed one day apiece in each city. I just said, um, did not hang out with them for the second time. But um, it was great to see them. I, we don't get to see them all that much because, obviously, they don't tra travel back here. They used to live here, and then um, they moved out to Denver. So, um yeah, that's, uh, it was a really great trip, um, but the, yeah, the hotel Wi-Fi was trash, man. Um, so, I had to deal with that. I was just happy to finally get home, and, you know, some shit went down in my house while I was gone. Um, I'm going to talk about this. So, I've never vlogged, really, nor really talked about my personal life, um, but so anyways, I have a two bathroom bathroom house. And the thing is, um, I have a bigger bathroom that's at the other end of my house that me and my dad have been renovating for my mom to make it handicap accessible for her. And it's only partially done. Um, I think this was like the day after New Year's, I think, or the, after New Year's Day, something like that. And um, my brother was taking care of the house, watering my mom's plants, all that shit. Um, just says, hey, there, there's water everywhere in the new bathroom. And it, we woke up to this and we're just like, shit. Fuck. What are we going to... This is great. Great welcome home um, gift. Um, so we were just like, just keep the fans on and anything will just soak into the floor or whatever. We get home. Drywall looks completely fine, guys. We did not have to. Um, we did not have to replace the drywall or anything like that. I was seeing a terrible glare in my um, eyes on my glasses, so you guys could not really see. There's also like it glary as shit because of the weather outside. There's snow everywhere. Um, so we came back. The drywall was fine. I was happy about that, guys. Um, it was just crazy, man. Um, we came back. Uh, the The floor still had some water on it, but it wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. We had a shower head, but we didn't have the rest of the shower hooked up. And just, I guess, pressure came out of it and just sprayed water everywhere. Like, the handle wasn't moved or anything to turn it on. So, we really don't know what, what caused that. Um, but we came home, and our water pipes were partially frozen. Um, we had a little bit of hot water on one side and only cold water on one side of the house. Um, so, my dad took care of that. It took a, took him like two hours to figure this out. Finally got everything unfrozen and had to turn off the water. The heater, the water heater was off and to, I think over 40 gallons in my house. It takes a while to heat up. Uh, so we did not have any water but luckily uh electricity heating everything else was good so we had a couple step backs and that was our welcome home present uh, unfortunately so that's what we had to deal with um on the ride back home so there was a huge storm if you guys don't know new york has been getting hammered with weather guys um just crazy um i know i've been saying i'm um, a lot i'm fucking <laughs> it is it was a crazy trip just Kind of, but it kind of wasn't. Um, so what it was is we knew there was weather coming because they said weather was coming when we were about to get to Utah um, after we were done staying in Nevada and Las Vegas. It's so crazy because you stay in the Strip, man, there's so many people, and then you drive like five, ten minutes down the road, and you just see bums and homeless people at <laughs> I don't care right now, ESPN, blah, 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 shut the fuck up. Um, it was uh, an interesting experience because I've never had a warm Christmas before, especially that warm, and I loved it. Um, but on the way back, so we were about to go in Utah because it was the day that we were going to leave Las Vegas. Also, if you're wondering, how did I do all my laundry? We went to a fucking laundromat, bro. And 
The, it was ghetto as fuck, man. It was sketchy. It was terrible. I, I, I did not. We had to do it twice, obviously, because we were there for about two weeks. But, mm, nope. I don't want to do that shit again. Um, the grocery stores are so spread out, too. Like, you have a foods market that you can't buy pop. It's all organic stuff, too. Um, then you have, like, this ghetto ass uh, place called Vons that you really can't find shit in. And then you got your Walmarts or whatever else um, around there. We went to a liquor store, dude. And this dude was Russian as fuck, but he had a nose the size of fucking Toucan Sam, I swear to God. But he was like the nicest guy ever. Um, so um, it was a crazy trip. So anyways, Utah. We were going back to Utah. We're leaving Nevada now, right? And we heard there was going to be some nasty weather hitting us. And we're like, hopefully we can just get out of here before it hits us. So it was dry when we went through Utah, Denver, Kansas, um, all that. And then yesterday we uh, stayed in St. Louis. We were leaving St. Louis. That This time we were on the road. Now there was going to be freezing rain that was going to hit us. And we had to get out of there before I think like noon. But we got out of there by like nine ish i believe something like that and we had no weather hit us at all on the way back the only weather that hit us was when we came uh got out of toledo um and was heading out that was the only weather that other hit us so no problems there my dad really didn't need to use his wipers at all he rain next the shit out of it you guys don't know what rain next is you put on your windows and pretty much water does not stick to it it's like a repellent basically um wax the van as well with the handicap van that's got a um a ramp that comes out the side door for my mom uh, we waxed the whole hell out of it so really not a lot of salt stuck uh, nothing really stuck to the van at all. So um, it was ready to go, really. Um, so we came back. Weather was fine. We came back. It was not um, like anything crazy here. It was just cold. And it's a little shitty today. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much the Vegas vacation. <laughs> not the National Lampoon's Vegas vacation, but Wolver guys, Vegas vacation. I'm back. Um, this has been pretty much just a 22-minute video. Uh, so far, I just want to tell you guys this is the vlog. So this is what's been going on in my life, what's been going on in the YouTube community with um, the Pauls being retarded. Also, if you guys didn't know, uh, Jake Paul went to some, he did some freestyle rap at some place and dropped the N word like multiple times. Like, hold this L. Um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's what is going on. Um, as I told you, I will be coming back with the daily videos. This is probably today's video as well. So with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, so just a bunch of fun over this trip, man. Um, except for Utah, you can do shit in Utah. And I have a buddy that lives there in Utah, uh, I guess closer to Idaho. And uh, he doesn't drink. I thought he did. But he's like, I can't because of my religion. I'm like, boy, what the fuck? I mean, I don't, I don't drink all the time either. I mean, it's usually at parties or the weekend, you know. But, oh, man, I would not want to live in that state if I wanted to get a drink once in a while. You even go to a... My dudes, you go to a restaurant, you cannot, say you want rum and coke or something, man, you cannot get that. It's like, oh, we don't serve alcohol. Like, a fucking course. Why are you so, why? I don't know. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the Uncanny Valley uh, series. Um, well, I don't know if I'm going to make a series, but uh, I'm going to make a video out of it. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's what's been going on. That's all the details. I will be home. Um, I don't know how, like, this year is going to look for making videos a lot. Um, stuff might change down the path, but as of right now, everyone, everything's staying the same. So, your boy will be back making videos on Madden. Um, I will probably get back to doing live streams 
either on YouTube or Twitch. I'm really not sure of what. Um, probably Madden. I'll probably try and get back to Dying Light. I haven't played that game in like three weeks. Um, I know one of you guys will want me to play that. Um, if you guys want to see a game that you want me to play, comment down below um, and tell me what's going on. So, with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. This is today's week or daily video, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, like I said, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Uncanny Valley. So take care. See you later. I don't know how the fuck you stop this thing. Share. Mute microphone. Nope. I'm not trying to do that. Um, wait right here. Okay. This is a fun video, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. If you're in that cold weather in the snow, be safe. You might, even the black guys, just be safe driving. All that stuff. Have a great day. See you guys later.